His grandfather was the Yana Na Andani. Then his father became the Yana Na Andani the second. And to today it is his turn. There have been about 44 Yanas since the year 1416, since the days of Nanyasi. He is the 44th. The Dagbon Kingdom has been in existence way back into the 13th century. And we've had challenges, especially over the past 200 years. We cannot develop unless we are one, unless we eschew conflicts and then keep together our unity. How to make this happen is what you are seeing today. And I believe that the Rana, the Yana has sent the clearest indication that he is going to be a unifier, he's going to be the Yana for the Gombes, and not the Yana for Andanis or Abudus. He's going to operate an open door policy. And I believe when his address is read today, you will get the clearest indication where the Gombes is headed to. Um, going from today, what do you think, and politicians like yourself, what are you going to commit to do differently? I think that we have to maintain the sanctity of the chieftaincy institution. Like I said, over the past 200 years, there has been some one intervention or the other um, in the enskinment of the Yana since the colonial days, even before the colonial period. And up to 1930, when his father became the Yana, there was some amount of political intervention by the British colonial uh, uh, district commissioner. So there's been one uh, intervention here or the other. But we, the Gombes, have to own our chieftaincy and preserve the sanctity of the institution and make sure that we do not do anything that will encourage any government to get involved in our internal affairs. All of us are going to make that commitment, both sides of the political agenda, both MPP and NDC, regardless of how much political capital we are likely to score. Let's ensure that the bank gets its just desserts so that we do not have any intervention. We do not have such intervention in other, other, other traditional areas, and the government has to insist that we do not get that intervention. Yes, indeed. Um, politicians have been part of the problem, and as you can see, a politician is resolving the problem today. Mr. President can get all the accolades that he deserves for giving personal commitment and resources culminating in today's event. I think that we have to give thanks and praises to God, but next we have to thank the president, and we can't thank him enough. I think I'm, I'm, I'm sort of worse how much to express my appreciation, my profound gratitude to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana for all that he has done and the personal commitment that he has put into uh, today's event.